Hey everybody, I want to do an update for the, uh, the lower deck here and show you the progress of the plants in our salad area, along with the basil, of course. So we got the, uh, the kale here, seems to be doing pretty well. You can see the uh, this Bates kale is really, really a kick, kick butt for kale, <laughs> if I can just use that term. I mean, I love this stuff. It's a great that little spider there, he's making his nest. The red Russian kale does okay. I mean, it doesn't really like this hot weather though. So I'm expecting this to really bounce back as soon as we get into the fall, you know, September, October time frame. And I'm really interested to see how these survive our winter because I'm gonna take these and actually transplant them down into probably that far box behind the box here with the tomatoes, the box behind that box. So the 10 foot by five foot box. I'm gonna put all the kales inside there and start making that more of a kale bed. So I noticed that it doesn't seem like it gets enough sun there. And I'm hoping that maybe we can transplant a lot of our vegetables here into that box and they could survive the summers over there because these have a really good root base. And I'm hoping that they can just take off and then you know keep growing through next spring down there. They'll overwinter. So we'll see. You never know how things are gonna go. But these uh, marigolds are really starting to, to bloom. You can see they're got their heads on there, the little pom-poms. And they got the multi-head. The uh, chard looks like it's doing okay. Looks like it's got a little bit of downy mildew on it. So I may have to come through here and uh, give it a spray of uh, maybe some neem oil. I don't know if I want to put neem oil on stuff I'm going to be eating. So it may be just time for uh, this to say goodbye. And I may end up taking the, you know, this chard out if it uh, continues to go because I don't want it to, I don't know if it'll affect my cabbage. I don't think so. I think this is pretty downy mildew resistant so I can just kind of trim back some of this. And then we'll see what happens as we get closer to fall if it'll grow, outgrow that, that stage that it's in. And we've got our uh, bunching onions here. We've harvested off these. They're kind of uh, in a regrow state at this point because we had a, a big meal with, we had tacos on Tuesday of course and we took all the onion tops. And the garlic's in a regrow stage because we took that and we put that on a uh, chicken that Paula had made this last week. She mixed it into the, I don't know what you call it, the top covering, top coat, something. <laughs> and, and you know, we got the cabbage growing here. Looks like it's going good. This kale is pretty much almost done. We've cut it back. You can see there's some new growth down here, but it's been getting beat up pretty good with the sun. The marigolds are just, they're going crazy. Let me walk you guys around the edge here so you can see what they're actually doing. They're actually growing over sideways off the deck. So it's kind of cool when you look at these from upstairs in our, uh, our kitchen window up there from Paula's vantage point. It gives her a nice little splash of color to look at. So that's kind of neat. There's some pop-up tomatoes that popped out of the, uh, the mulch we were using inside the garden bed. So we've got a bunch of tomatoes that are setting on that and they're hanging down. So that'll be nice to eat. We've been harvesting off the, uh, the parsley in the hanging grow bed. So there's some regrowth here. Looks like we got a little, little pop-up friend there. We'll just throw him in the mulch pile. And of course over here, we've got the poinsettia that's the five-year-old poinsettia. Seems to really like this weather we've been having out here. It's got a lot of new leaf growth. Looks really healthy. I mean, look at that. It's beautiful. That'll be going back down inside the, uh, the grow tent this winter. And we have our basil. Basil seems to be doing pretty well. A lot of nice regrowth on this Italian Genovese. Does it say Italian Genovese? No. The Italian large leaf basil. Yeah, that's the large leaf basil. That's the one we eat with our mozzarella and our uh, pink boar tomatoes sliced up. Looks like we got some good regrowth on the, uh, the rosy basil. A lot of this is going to seed, so may just have to chop the tops off and get a couple more harvests out of this before uh, fall comes in and wipes it out. That's kind of the update for the deck. All right, guys. I hope you guys have a great week coming up, and I'll talk to you next weekend. All right, bye.